We begin this evening with new restrictions for online gaming in Grifton. That town has just passed clear and defined rules for gaming businesses. WNCT's Brandon Truitt joins us now to break it all down. Brandon. Ken, North Carolina currently bans gambling, but leaves decisions for online gaming up to local governments. Grifton is taking steps to make sure business is done within the law. Setting some guidelines as far as uh, what uh, they need to follow when they come to town. Grifton, a town full of charm and history, is writing some more with a new ordinance from city leaders. The town has passed a text amendment that defines and determines what an electric gaming business can be. So I could see where it was going with a going to have a pretty large growth uh, in a small community. So I thought it would be a good idea to bring forth uh, an ordinance that would help control that growth. Grifton Town Manager Joseph Johnson says the gaming centers in his town are popular businesses. Like the gas stations and stuff, they stay busy a little bit longer, I believe, because of the people that are coming in. Restrictions like age requirements and clear, uncovered windows have been added. One of the main things that was passed was the distance between the establishments. Uh, so we, we passed a 700 foot uh, requirement. So that kind of gives a little bit of, gives us a little bit of control of the growth. Two of those gaming centers are right here along Queen Street. I went inside both and got the same answer. No comment. One of them, in fact, is just steps away from Town Hall. Once you get too many establishments, it's, it's, it's not good for the businesses themselves. Uh, they can't stay open because um, they've got overhead they have to pay, you know, and you get a lot of businesses competing against each other. Johnson says the more gaming businesses that come in, the more divided the customer base. Uh, you're going to have the same group of people just going from one business over to the other. The businesses that are already open will be grandfathered into that distance rule, but will have to change their storefronts to open the blinds and have untinted windows. Now, Grifton commissioners will vote on a deadline for all of that to happen. Brandon Truitt, not on your side. Brandon, thanks.